people in Weber County are bracing for continued flooding. Some backyards have turned into swamps. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson checked on some homes and shows us what she found. I don't, I don't know. I almost think it was higher today. Well, it might be now. Steve Smith crosses the street to his neighbor Brent Sherman's backyard in Plain City to take a look at the Weber River. This whole field, it, it, it ends up being a lake when that river goes over. Memories from 1983 circling back. We figured it wouldn't be worse than the 83. Sandbags still ingrained in the grass from flooding preps in 2011. But they say they are feeling more prepared this time around ready for anything with more flooding expected to come. Well, I won't say it. we're not expecting it to flood, but I don't expect it to be as to be. I think it might go over than. here. This might fill up. One town over in Slaterville, the Bradreros once green and grassy backyard now looks like a lake. I mean, this is just uh, a few days ago, it was all green. Dan Bradrero is looking at fish in his backyard and his neighbor's cows wading through the water. This all happened basically overnight. Here is an aerial photo he took Tuesday morning showing the impacts of the Weber River overflowing into his home and others. And it's all starting to come down. And if it stays like this, it's really not that big of a deal. It's, you know, might ruin the crop, but it's not, not catastrophic, but if we get a rapid warm up and it all comes down in a hurry, then, you know, it'll be a different story. In Weber County, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.